What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, we're not doing that. So lately, we've been having a issue with our lake trips that we've been trying to plan. Dylan doesn't want to tow a trailer with two jet skis on it. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. So we have this solution, which is a jet ski hitch carrier, specially designed for Dylan's truck, a Ford F-350, or for Peter's truck, actually. It works for both. So in this video, we're going to go step by step on how you can possibly make one of these yourself. We're gonna list all of the materials needed to build it in the description down below. And let's get started with step number one. Okay, so these are gonna be the crossbars for the hitch. This will be the hitch going into my truck. There's gonna be one here and then another one about 14 inches right here. Uh, if you look, I drilled a hole right here in the dead center of this is a five foot piece. So we put it at two and a half. This is in the center of here and an inch in. And these are gonna line up. So when I drill my holes on the outsides and right here, and right here, uh, I can run my wires through for when I do my lighting, because we're gonna make these a little bit fancier than most, and we're gonna add some brake lights and some uh, outside clearance lights. Um, we just got done cutting these. This is gonna be a gusset for the outside where all three of our lights are gonna go. And uh, I'm gonna get these tacked up, and then we're gonna start working on the next piece over here. So I just added this bar, I just tacked it in. Uh, the bottom holes that I just showed you uh, line up from this bar to this bar for me to run my wires. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing one, two, three red lights right here. So I'll be able to feed my wires in and out the back. Um, and then we'll be putting our clearance lights down here when I cap these ends. Uh, we just put this gusset piece on uh, we just figured it would make it a little bit more structural because then we're not just having welds right here on the back side of just the tubing onto the tubing and we could actually like support this elsewhere and now we're going to take our measurements from this bar to our next bar on where the ski is actually going to sit and then once we figure that out we're going to add uh, two plates up from here and that's going to hold our two by four in between this and that's what we're gonna we're gonna carpet the two by four set it on here and that's what the ski will actually sit on that. Hey. Okay. we're like or I'm stuck Peter needs to make those brackets and then we need to mount those and well, we need to drill our holes in the brackets so then we can mount our two by fours and then actually we could start on the two by fours. Um, yeah, start cutting the two by four and uh, setting it up for the carpet. This is for the top rail. This is gonna go on those brackets Peter's making right now and we're gonna carpet these. We got some spray adhesive and a staple gun, and we're gonna spray adhesive these and then we'll staple on the bottom so you can't see them. This will be what the skis will actually sit on. Obviously you don't want them to sit on the, sit on the wood. Okay, buddy. Now it's time to, uh, where's the spray adhesive? Peter! All right, I just got finished uh, doing the rails that the ski is gonna sit on. As you can see here, we're gonna do that. The brackets aren't done yet, so those aren't mounted. Those are just set on there. I cut each carpet piece at 10 inches, and then I just spray adhesive these and went through it. And if you can see, there's a million staples in here. Um, it's not exactly straight, I've never done this before, but uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass, kind of tedious, it takes some time. Pretty easy to do though. 
Now we're gonna get the brackets done and we are going to hopefully get those tacked on there and start mounting stuff. So next we're gonna cut these, we're gonna cut this into like three inch pieces. And then we're gonna take the tops off of these and that's what we'll, uh, we'll set our two by fours in. The inner diameter of this is uh, inch and a half, which is what a two by four is because uh, this is 316s. So, yeah. So our two by four will sit perfectly in there and then we'll drill holes in the side to mount, mount that. So we're gonna cut three in sections, do two of them on each bar, and then uh, we'll drill, we'll lay it out, drill our holes, cut them, and then we'll weld them to the top of these bars. Okay, so I just uh, fit these. This is gonna be our end caps for both of here. It's gonna fit in between here. This is a little overkill. You don't necessarily need to do this cross piece, but we're gonna be doing it on the front and the back because we're gonna bring a bar off of this. I don't know if we're gonna get to that in this video, but we're gonna bring a bar off of this and it's gonna bite the nose of the jet ski. Um, I can kind of show later once we get the jet ski mounted on here. But for right now, I'm gonna tack these in place. We'll be able to fill our welds through here and then our lights are gonna go on the end of these, or the end of the this one, because this is the outside one. This is probably the most time, time consuming part just because we have to fit this and uh, we have to actually like take the time to cut these because if, if you just don't get it right, it just wouldn't fit correctly. So I'm gonna get going on the rest of those and then hopefully we'll be able to mount the top pieces and mount the wood today so then at least we could get the skis mounted on there so we can show you exactly what we're doing. Okay, so we just got the end pieces on, and then we got the uh, pieces right here that are gonna hold our top plates, or our top two by fours for the uh, jet skis that, that they're actually gonna sit on. And I just went through, I welded some of these ends. Uh, Peter Metal finished these ones. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna weld these ends, and or all this cap, and then also do these and these. After I do that, I should be able to drill the holes on the outside for the lights, and then we'll be able to fit this and fit the ski on it. Everybody in the comments that's gonna toast me for welding, I'm absolutely not a professional welder, so uh, we're just rookies at this. I, we just had a fun project that we wanted to make. So uh, go ahead and be some keyboard warriors. <laughs> this out we don't know exactly where this is gonna sit yet um, well, neither of our trucks are with the ski so once we put the ski on here we'll be able to see the distance and then that way we can take off the backside and then it'll actually fit as close to the truck as possible so we don't have all this rear end weight this is the first time the ski is going on here without any measurements taken on this so um, okay, so we at least need to go to like There's no two by four left, huh? So we can almost cut two by fours and place them up to see what we no. like at first. I think like 19. Okay. <laughs> So 
So I just cut this piece. You are such a long piece of shit. I just cut that almost. He got it on video. Relax, relax. Look at Peter did a great job. So we might have figured out our problem. We we fit the, we don't have it, but we fit the pin through. We just drilled these holes a slight bit bigger. Um, excuse my welds. It was, it's been a rough day. Um, the pin just barely fits and the, it just so happens that the pins that I, where I get them from are perfectly like length to where I can actually put it in at an angle when I slide the ski a little bit forward and then I can bring it back and we just perfectly fit the lock on it. Like my other trailer, it's not ideal, but we've already gone through all of the work to do this and we've already pre-cut our other pieces to do the second rack. So we're gonna do this now. Maybe a little later on we can modify it and make it a little bit better, but for now this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, Peter's gonna get to clean up this one. I'm gonna move on to the next one and just get this done so then uh, well, I'll use this while I'll do this while Peter's here to, to help me because tomorrow he's not going to be here. Uh, and then tomorrow, the plan for this one is to just metal finish it and paint it. Hopefully, do the lights. And then, if we do the lights, then I'll be able to plug it into a truck and you guys will be able to see the finished product. If not, we'll have to work on it another day. But I'm really hoping that we get this one done and we can actually just like call one of them done and maybe get the other one done another day. But for now, we're gonna keep working on this one and uh, just keep making progress. We are back at, I believe, or it's like day three, day two and a half. Um, we're gonna get the first stand done. We're gonna, all we have left is to chop the top off of this, make it flush with this top bracket, which we'll show you guys later. Uh, and then we gotta, ow, we gotta drill our holes here and here for our lights. We've got some wires coming and some lights and uh, I'm just gonna tack the other one and James is gonna weld that one just because I'm not the quickest at welding and we wanna get that one done also. So, let's get started on this. Okay, so I just finished doing these bottom holes uh, for our lights. We're gonna do clear lights right here. <clears throat> Everything's pretty much welded. Uh, everything, everything actually is pretty much done except I just need to wire wheel this whole thing and then we're gonna paint it, and then the very last thing we'll do is do the hitch pin through it, because we don't know exactly our length sitting on the truck, because I gotta fit it on my truck, we only fit it on Peter's. So uh, we're gonna get to wire wheel on this, and then we'll paint it, and then I gotta go grab one more thing to make a rear loop, and I'll get started on the next one. So we are finishing up the jet ski rack. All we have to do now is I'm putting the bolts in to bolt these pieces of wood through here. Uh, we're doing side marker lights, our three brake lights. We've got lights underneath here for, I don't know why, but we are gonna run the lights anyway, so we figured we'd just add them. It'd look kind of cool. I've never seen it done before. Uh, we finished up this. 
the neck for this and it locks in there and then we'll do a lock pin so then you nothing can happen to the ski and it can actually just we don't have to worry about it on the back of the truck if we go in any store or anything um yeah that about wraps up that we just need to like i said we just need to do the i we need to restart <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys welcome i So it's done. <laughs> Damn it, Derek. <laughs> Can please stop getting right, closer? Right. Okay, okay. He stumbled across this, like what, the 17th time? All right, so I got this. I've seen him make it in my shop for the last three days. Yeah, three days. They did a pretty good job. They got the lights right here in the back for your tail lights, your running lights. You look underneath. There is a clear LED for your running lights, reverse lights to come on. I like this little gusset he added there. That was my idea. I'll take the credit for that. You come over here. There was a little funkiness with the pin, but they got it figured out. They just had to go a little wider on the bottom for when you pull it out so you have access to clear it. But all in all, I think the project turned out pretty good. Well, at least somebody knows how to talk. <laughs> So the jet ski hitch carrier is finished. We just finished putting the lights. This wasn't our first choice of scenery to end this video. We wanted to have a nice lake trip with a nice sunset in the background, but since the lakes are closed due to all the fires in California, we weren't able to do that. So this is all we got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any further questions on how to build one of these yourself, comment down below. We'll try and get back to as many of them as possible. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.